And now to continuing coverage tonight on the Columbus cyber attack. 10 TV's Lacey Crisp was the first reporter to break the story back in July. She continues to press the city and Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther for answers about how the hack impacts you and your family. Tonight, Lacey is following new details about a major hire the city made before admitting anything to the public. When we ask the mayor for answers about the cybersecurity attack, he typically says he can't because it's still under investigation. But we are now learning who the city hired as soon as it pulled the plug from external communications. Through a public records request, 10TV obtained a contract between the city and law firm Dinsmore. The document is dated July 23rd, but the contract term starts July 19th. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther said on July 18th he made the decision to disconnect the city from all outside communication to protect information. The city is paying Dinsmore $395 an hour. If that amount exceeds $300,000, the city will need to get approval from city council Council for additional funds. The scope of the work is to act as special legal counsel for the purpose of providing legal advice to the director of the Department of Technology with respect to matters pertaining to cybersecurity. I asked a cybersecurity expert if these attacks can be prevented. He says cities should try to make it as difficult as possible for bad actors to get into the systems. I know uh, a lot of municipalities have always you know, been tight on budgets and that sort of thing and personnel. Unfortunately, we're at a stage where what we call good enough security is no longer good enough. You're going to have everybody has to up their their defensive game uh, against these uh, cyber threat people. Carver says it typically takes municipalities years to recover from an attack like this, but he says they usually invest way more money after the fact. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.